Hey guys, in this video, we are going to develop this counter app. As you can see, we have increment and decrement buttons. So for the state management, we are going to use block, specifically the qubit. And for the local database, we are going to use Hive. So without wasting time, let's get started and develop this app. So this is where we are going to get started. As you can see, I am inside my main dot And here you can see I have a material app and I have a home screen and also I am using theme.data.dark and also I created a separate home screen dot as you can see home screen we have the blank scaffold so first of all we are going to create the UI so inside my home home screen first I'm going to create the body and it's going to be a center child and it's going to be a container widget so inside the container widget First, we need to have the row and the row will include the children parameter and here we'll have icon button, two icon button by the way. So the first icon button is going to be icon, icons dot remove, which is a minus and copy paste. So here we need to click on add and if I save it, now you see that minus and add icons so we also need to add some commas to format our code and also here we need to have some text right let's say zero for now but we will change it later and also we want to make this row in the center to do that we can simply come here inside a row we can use mean axis alignment mean axis alignment dot center and this will makes it to the center if i save it you can see here also let's add some style to make it a bit bigger so size would be 40 for this icon also this one 40 and for the text we need to use style text style font size it's going to be 40 as well so as you can see it now looks much better but we also need to add some space between these icons and text so i'm gonna use sized box width it's going to be maybe five and i'm gonna copy and paste it here as well by paste it now it looks much better now let's add some style to the container so width it's going to be 250 height would be 100 if i save it you don't see it because we need to give some decoration right so we need to have container not sized box i have some extensions but that's why it's actually automatically changing it so don't worry about it decoration box decoration so color would be colors dot gray dot shade 900 and also we need to use border radius border radius dot circle and it's going to be 100 and now i think it looks much much better and now we need to wrap this text with another widget which is circle avatar because i want to have some big round circle shape and we need to add some radius uh, i think it's 40 and now i think it looks much better if you want you can keep this color but as far as i know as far as i like so i want to change the background color to colors dot gray dot shade gray dot shade so we have to remove the const to use the shade maybe 800 if i save it now I think it looks much better for me. So it's up to you. If you want, you can change the background color and the UI based on your preferences. But I think now the UI is done. Now we can move on to the state management part where we are going to use block, specifically the qubit, right? So to do that, you have to go and use the Flutter block package. So I'm going to go to installing copy flutter block and i'm gonna open my terminal 
add this flutter block sorry there is a two way you can either add like flutter pop add flutter block or you can also go to popspec.yaml and add it here as well but i'm gonna do the first one flutter block because this will install the latest version automatically And here inside my lib folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this qubit. Inside this qubit, I'm going to create a new file and call this counter qubit dot dart. And first of all, here I'm going to create a class counter qubit and this will extend qubit and qubit. And this is going to be an integer, right? This is going to be an integer. And inside that, we need to create counter qubit. And this is going to have the super and value of zero by default. And this counter qubit will have two functions, increment and decrement, as you can see on the left side. So let's create this method. Let's call these sorry methods. And first one is increment, and a second one is decrement. So the first the first one increment. So we have to create void increment. And so first we have to use void increment. We have the function here. So here we need to use emit to notify the listeners and it's going to be state plus one. And it's very, very simple. So we can copy this increment and we can paste it here. And here it's going to be decrement. But here, as you can see, we need to make it minus. And we also need to write some EBIT function. So if state equals to zero, so that we want to return nothing. Otherwise, we want to minus state minus one. So now we have to go to main.dart and we have to wrap this my app with block provider. And inside that, we have to use this counter qubit, counter qubit, as you can see. And also we have to import this block provider. And now to read this block provider, we have to go to home and inside home, we have this build inside build builds. We have to create a new object counter qubit. And this is going to be actually, this is going to be block provider block provider dot off and we have to import this as well of context and also we need to specify this counter qubit here as well now here inside a text we want to read this state so to do that we have to wrap this row with the with the block builder and here we need to specify counter qubit and it's going to be integer. And here inside this block builder, we also need to specify the block. And this is going to be a counter qubit object that we created here. Counter qubit, right? And here for the state, if you want, you can change it to counter to, to make it clear. So now, Inside my text, I can simply use here the counter, right? Counter. And also remove the const. And also you have to restart the app because you will get some red errors. And also now here inside the remove, I'm going to use here simply this arrow function counter qubit dot increment and also parenthesis and same here i'm going to copy here for the it's going to be decrement because it's a remove right decrement 
and here I'm going to paste it increment for the ad now I can simply restart the app and if I add you can see it's now adding but if I remove it's also removing so we have done with the state management now we are going to use the local database hive to save our data so whenever I exit from the app for example let's say we have the 10 count and if I exit from the app and re-enter again we should save this right so to have this functionality we need to use hive db so to for that we need to actually go to pubspec.yaml pubspec.yaml and after this flutter block we need to add a couple of packages first we need to have hive and hive flutter i'm going to copy and paste it here hive and hive flutter package and also we need to have two more packages inside dev dependencies so after this flutter lints i'm going to paste it hive generator and also build runner as well so now i'm going to save it and it will automatically get these packages as you can see and now i can exit from this and now first of all i'm going to go to my main dot art and here i have to use async after this main and inside that we have to use first widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize it and here first we need to initialize initialize hive and it's going to be await hive dot init flutter and we have to import this hive init init flutter and also we need to open the box open the box and it's going to be await hive dot open box and you can give any name i want to give counter box and after that we can now go and implement this hive inside our counter qubit dot dart so here inside our counter qubit dot dart first of all before we have this like the default value we need to have the hive box to store the counter let me comment it here hive box to store counter final box it's going to be integer and we can name this counter box and this is going to be hive dot box and we have to import this hive as well hive dot box we don't need we are here yeah you have to take uh, attention here we are not opening the box we are just using hive dot box right so hive dot box and it's going to be counter box that we created right also we need to specify that it's going to be an integer only and now uh, inside after this counter qubit super zero value we have to retrieve the stored value from the hive so default to zero if no value exists for example so let me comment it here to to make it more clear retrieve the stored value from hive so default to zero if no value exists okay so here we have to use emit emit and before that we need to open this and here inside that we have to use emit and counter box dot get we need to get this counter and also we need to have default value and it's going to be a zero and we have to use this semicolon as well now we have to change these our methods so let me remove this 
So inside our increment, first we need to define new value, new value state plus one. And here we have to specify counter box dot put. And for the K we use container, sorry, counter, not container. And for the value, new value. And also we need to notify this new value by using emit new value. And same for the decrement. But here we are using the condition, for example, if let's say the state is bigger than zero, then we have to use final new value state minus one. And we have to also put this counter box for the K you can use counter and for the value is new value. And finally, we have to emit this new value. So I'm going to save it. Now I think everything is understandable. You can see that we are here getting these counter box that we have stored here. And here we are using the default value zero. If you want, you can change the default value. For example, let's say five and it will change it. But by default, we want to have the zero value, right? So you can restart your app or you can also exit from your app and then you have to rerun it in case you don't see any errors. So guys, as you can see, we are getting the box. Counter box is already open, but the type of box is dynamic. So basically, if you see this error, you have to specify the what kind of box it's going to be. Basically, we have to specify after open box that our box is going to be an integer. So now if I add this integer after open box and if I restart the app, you will see that this error will go away. Now you can see that if I increment, it's now incrementing. If I decrement, it's now decrementing. So if I exit from the app and re-enter this app, you can see now we have the zero. But if I increment it again, go back again, you can see now we are still seeing 10. So in this video, we have created this counter app applying block, specifically Qubit with local database Hive. So if you want, you can improve and add more functionalities, like you can also add reset functionality, and it's going to be a kind of practice. This is it for this app. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next videos.